What's up? What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Fly Girl Nina, and welcome back to Fly Girl Bartending. Today, we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day with three fabulous St. Patrick's Day themed cocktails. And it's also an extra celebration today because my birthday is actually on St. Patrick's Day. So we got a double celebration in the house, baby. <laughs> we are starting with a shot of Jameson. <laughs> also, look how cute this shot glass is. My friend gave it to me uh, as a bridesmaid gift for her because she's getting married. Uh, shout out to you, Micah. <laughs> it all the way up today <laughs> you know what it's my birthday so whatever cheers <laughs> oh wait no the word is slain shit <laughs> let's get this party started <laughs> If you are an espresso martini lover, then this one is for you. This one is called a top of the morning espresso martini. <laughs> for this cocktail, you're gonna need a shaking tin. First, we're gonna start with a half ounce of Guinness syrup. If you wanna learn how to make this Guinness syrup, there should be a tutorial on my channel. If it's not up by now, um, I'll put a link in the description when it is available. <laughs> so we're gonna start with a half ounce of Guinness syrup. Oh, it smells so good. Next, we're going to add one ounce of espresso. Next, one ounce of coffee liqueur. One ounce of Irish whiskey. And this step is optional. If you want a creamier espresso martini, then add a half ounce of Irish cream. But feel free to skip this step if you don't want it. And because I want this to be very like frothy and bubbly, I'm going to be shaking with a large ice cube rather than like regular ice. I oh, thought no! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I look like a hot mess. <laughs> the magic of editing. <laughs> now just strain the cocktail into a beautiful coupe or martini glass. So as the garnish, we are going to dust some chocolate powder in the shape of a four-leaf clover. So I just took an index card and drew a four-leaf clover on it and cut it out. So basically, we're just going to set it on top of the glass and then we're going to use, I don't know what the contraption is called, but, uh, but basically, we're just going to dust some chocolate powder on top and then when we take the stencil away, it should leave like an imprint of a four-leaf clover. That looks so cute! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Granted, I did not try this out before doing this, but I'm so glad it looks really cute. <laughs> I'll insert a picture of it here. Mmm, <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's let's try this drink out. <laughs> Slain chip. This is so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The chocolate powder on top is so nice. It just tastes like chocolate coffee. It literally tastes like a mocha, but like a cold mocha. <laughs> Man, and the Guinness too, that's such nice deep flavor with the coffee and the chocolate powder on top. And it goes down so, so smooth. Espresso martinis are already like pretty creamy without Bailey's, but Bailey's always makes it more creamy. Dang, that's fab. I love this, and <laughs> this is a great wake-me-up cocktail for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Moving on to our second cocktail of tonight. This cocktail is called a Lucky Girl Syndrome. <laughs> we're going to serve and build this cocktail into a champagne flute, and the first thing we're going to add is a small scoop of green edible glitter. Next, we're going to add a fourth ounce of honey syrup. Oh my gosh, I was supposed to shake this. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. 
So I'm gonna finish building this and then I'll, I'll tell you at the end on um, how to actually make it the correct way. <laughs> Next you're gonna add a half ounce of lemon juice. Next, three fourths of an ounce of sour apple pucker, or you can also use apple juice. Next, one ounce of Irish whiskey. And we're going to shake this with ice in a shaking tin and then pour it back into the glass before the next step. <laughs> and for the final ingredient, we're gonna to top it off with champagne. For garnish, we're going to add a rainbow ribbon on top. So I'm just gonna take a cocktail pick and then kind of like loop this onto it. It's easier to show than tell. <laughs> oh, it's so cute and festive. <laughs> it's beautiful. But I do want to sip the cocktail, so I'm going to be taking this off and eating this later. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so cute! I love the color! Let's go ahead and have a taste! Slaincha! Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> Light, refreshing, a perfect amount of fizz in there. Mm. If you're having like a brunch at your home or something, this would be a fabulous cocktail to go with it. It's given St. Patrick's Day a brunch of boys, okay? <laughs> Dang. So good. So different from the last one, for sure, but it's so good. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> Alright, our third and final cocktail tonight is called an Irish charm. <laughs> the first ingredient is going to be a bar spoon of banana liqueur. Next, we're going to add one and a half ounces of a Lucky Charms infused heavy cream. So basically what I did was I added about six ounces of heavy cream into this mason jar. And then I filled up to like the 12 ounce mark with Lucky Charms, uh, both the marshmallows and the actual cereal. And obviously the cereal is going to absorb some of the moisture. So that's why it looks pretty low. Um, but anyway, that's how I made it. And I let it literally sit in the fridge for like hours. So... It kind of has like a milky whitish green tint to it but anyway we're gonna add an ounce and a half of this into our shaking tin <laughs> oh it smells good though <laughs> it literally smells like a sugar cookie <laughs> next we're gonna add a half ounce of creme de menthe Next, three-fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. Next, two ounces of vanilla vodka. So, if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, this cocktail is kind of like a boozy shamrock shake with my own personal spin on it. I am going to be adding a little bit of vanilla bean ice cream to it, but it's not going to be like so much so. Um, I know there's a lot of other recipes out there where they put it in a blender and all that jazz, which is fabulous, but I kind of wanted to keep this as a cocktail first, but then bring in those like old childhood like memories in there too. For continuity sake, I'm going to be adding about like three bar spoons of vanilla bean ice cream into the shaking tin. After the ice cream is added though, we're going to be doing a whip shake. And usually I do that for like tiki cocktails with crushed ice. Um, but I thought it would be pretty cool to do it with the vanilla ice cream so that it chills the cocktail down while also adding more creamy texture to the cocktail. I'm going to add the ice cream in there, shake it until all the ice cream has dissolved, and then we're going to pour it into our rocks glass, which is what we're going to be serving this cocktail in. Also, it might take a while to do it this way. This is just how I'm choosing to do it. If you want to put it in a blender, feel free to do that. <laughs> now 
Next, we're gonna add some crushed ice to keep it cold. To garnish off this cocktail, we're gonna be adding a boozy whipped cream and some Lucky Charms. This is so cute, I love it. It is so cute, Oh, That is the Irish charm, so let's go ahead and have a taste. <laughs> Cheers. There is so much flavor in this. Damn. Minty shamrock shake, then Lucky Charms, and then you're like, oh, this is a very strong cocktail. And then Lucky Charms again. <laughs> it is so easy to drink. <laughs> it is so easy to drink. Like this is a good dessert cocktail for people that don't like too much like crazy sugar because it's just the right amount of sweetness, but it's still like, it has the funness of being a dessert cocktail. <laughs> to do my own horn, it feels like a sophisticated childhood drink, but like in a cocktail. But this is absolutely adorable and I freaking love it. And honestly, adulting is not fun sometimes. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to have like a little, bring you back to your, <laughs> your old roots. <laughs> But long story short, I love this cocktail and I think it's absolutely adorable. I'm, I'm like, obviously I made it, but like, I, like, I genuinely love this cocktail. <laughs> All right, you guys, we've made it to the end of today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you give at least one of these cocktails a try if you're looking to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I mean, obviously I'm biased because I made all of them, but... They are all so fabulous and they all have different kind of vibes and there's a little sum for everybody. <laughs> Honestly, I want to drink all three of them, but mixing them all together probably isn't the best idea for me right now. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day, whether you're out partying, bar hopping, going to Irish pubs, or if you're just staying at home and sipping on one of my cocktails. <laughs> but anyway, Whatever your plans are for St. Patrick's Day, I hope that you are having a great time and you're staying safe. When you try out these cocktails, let me know in the comments down below how they turned out for you. I would love to hear about it. And also, if you have any other cool St. Patrick's Day themed like cocktail recipes that you want to share in the comments down below, feel free to. I would love to try some of those out. But anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous and safe St. Patrick's Day and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Stay flat.